Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about recurring tasks. Of course, recurring tasks is not something that SharePoint has. Outlook doesn't have them either. So you would have to create your own tasks. So in this example, I have a bunch of tasks that should be done every month. And I also have an idea of who should be doing them and which day of the month they should be done. So at the end of the year, I would have 120. So 10 times 12 tasks in my task list. And I want to make sure that each of those 120 tasks have indeed been completed and who completed them and things like that. So what I'm gonna do is take this list now in Excel, export it into SharePoint, and then show you how you can automatically create or semi-automatically create new tasks based on these task templates, if you will. So first of all, I'm gonna format this as a table, and then I'm gonna export it into a SharePoint list. And I already have the URL. If I didn't, then I would go into my site and copy the shortcut here on the, on the logo, paste that in there, and um, call that every month. I don't need a read-only connection for this. Then I'm just gonna click Next, and Finish. So now I have a new list, and I'll go into my site contents of my SharePoint site here, and there's my list. So I'm gonna go into my settings there and change some settings. First of all, I want no attachments, and I like the launch forms in a dialogue setting. So I'm gonna change those things. And then of course, I need to set the versioning settings here. And finally, I'm gonna make sure that it shows up on the navigation on quick launch up there. There we go. Then I'm gonna create another list, a task list. I'm gonna add an app, call that to do. And then I'm gonna make sure that in, that is in the right place. So not under recent, Let's see if I can put it like that. There we go. So to do in every month. Now I could of course go in and um, just copy and paste the information. But before I do that, I'm gonna change some settings in the to-do list also. Versioning settings, of course. And then under advanced settings, I'm gonna allow attachments, but I do want the launch forms in a dialog there too. And then finally on the assign to column, I wanna make sure that that's only one person that can be assigned to a task that will help me in the long run. That will create problems if I have multiple people assigned to in um, a later step in this demo. So anyhow, now I can just go in here and copy all of the items. I can't do anything with day of month. Copy all of that. Right click doesn't work. Man. Control C always works. And then I'll go into the to-do list here. And um, I can go into edit mode and I can paste. But the columns, of course, are in the wrong order. So first I need to modify the view so that the assigned to is as number three instead of as number four. Now I can go into edit mode again. And it worked fine. Control V pastes all that in there. All right. So now I can, of course, do that every month. But the due date is not filled out. Can't do that with copy and paste. That gets complicated. So instead, I'm going to use access for this and build a query that inserts items into this list. A few more steps, but uh, that will be in my next demo. I will, of course, make this a bit simpler using access or at least simpler than copy and paste, in my opinion. Thank you for watching.